Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use a dark mode in Cypress Test Runner. So let's begin. By default, what happens is that whenever you execute your test in the Test Runner, you will see a white screen. So let me show you here first, and then we will convert this into a dark theme. So let me go to this my Test Runner, and let me execute this previous test. And here you will see that the whole complete screen where we are getting the execution is in the white color. However, if we want a dark mode, then uh, we need to go to the browser here and we need to search for Cypress plugins and go to this first link here and here press Ctrl F and search for dark and here you will see this Cypress dash dark. Click on this one and here this is uh, the way you want uh, your test runner to be in a dark mode. So let me go here and let's install this one now. So let me copy this one from here. Go back to Visual Studio Code here. Uh, let me close uh, this test runner as of now. And now let's run this one. So it will install this plugin. And after that, what we need to do is that we if we need to use a Halloween theme, this is, uh, I personally like this theme here. So what we will do is that we will add this line of code in our Cypress support index.js. So let me copy this one. Let me go back here. And what we need to, need to do is that. So in index.js, we can add it here. We can also add this line of code here. So let me add here and save this one. And now let me open the Cypress test runner. So npx Cypress open. So it will open the test runner now with the new dark mode. So let me execute the same code handling drag and drop. So let me execute this one. And this time you will see a dark mode, a Halloween mode here. And this looks pretty cool here. You see the Halloween mode and you know Halloween icons and this looks pretty cool here. And if I go back to the documentation itself and if we want to use this dark theme. So simply what we need to do is that we need to copy this one and and what we need to do is that let's go back to our uh, Visual Studio Code here. So instead of this one, let me paste this line of code and remove this one and let's save this one and let me close this test runner from here and open this again so npx cypress open and it will open the test runner here and let me execute the same file here handling drag and chop here you will find a dark theme instead of that Halloween theme. So this is a dark theme here. And you see this is a dark theme here on the left side where we see the executions. And here is the section where application got loaded. So let me go back to this plugin documentation and see. So by default, the theme will be loaded. If you want to switch to another theme, set its name in Cypress.js. So what we can do is that if we want something by default to be loaded and if we want to switch between the themes, so we can use this in this way. So let me copy this one from here and simply in cypress.json, we need to provide this. So let me copy remove this one here and provide it here and let me save this one and again um, let me close this test runner and open the test runner again and px press open it will open the test runner again and uh, let me execute the same test here and see what happens so it should load the black theme here right so and let's let's see some more documentation here and we saw this Halloween, uh, this one. And if we need to do a dark page under the test, right? So you can tell the application in the test to switch to dark mode using media doing to this equals dark. 
right? If the application uses JavaScript media query to check for the preferred scheme, see the original issue, right? Instead, what else we can do is that we can use custom dark.html here. And then we can enable stubbing here as well using window.match media and we can provide this dark mode media query equals to true in our cypress.json so these details are provided here and again um, it's up to you how you want to use this dark theme but the details are all present here thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial